Get ready to do this insert. It's real easy, man. What you do, like they sell a lot of inserts for all kind of grills. What you're basically doing is cutting the inside out. And then putting this one, whatever insert you get, you're putting it in the place of what's right here. And they usually come with mounts. So what you'll do is drill the back side and then mount the insert. And well, I'm about to go ahead and cut this out. And then put this in and see what I got. Go from there. Got it all trimmed out. That's what I gotta do now. Sand these edges down both sides. And if you want it to be perfect, this grill is gonna cover this whole section. But if you want it to be perfect, you can go and trim all this down. I may do it, may not, but definitely I'm gonna sand this down both sides. And then get ready to uh, mock up. it too low but everything else pretty flush I'm gonna make it all even with this here all the way around continue to knock these down both sides and uh yeah you keep keep uh sanding and testing a uh, air die grinder and what I'm doing is using it like in this area specific the DA kept tapping in these corners so I'm gonna fix it but I don't want them like seeing this whole thing now i'm just inserting the grill so i'm gonna fix this but i'd rather not keep tapping in those areas and just uh saying exactly what i need to say this got some black gloss make it flush as possible let's see what we got fit pretty tight We're about to get some type of foam or something Put it on the other side so I can flip it over and see why it's tight as it is. Alright, it's tight like that because the mounts, they not bent inward. And this whole thing is a slant, like slanted this way. So that's why it's tight like that. So what I'm going to do, put some pressure on it, do the bottom two, and then the top two. And uh, once it line up and everything, take it back out and spray those areas that got touched. But... As you can see, you got like it's tight, a tight gap at the bottom and a bigger one at the, at the top. Hopefully, once I push it in, it's even as possible. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do that. All right, this is the finished product. Um, if you have gloss black laying around, or you tap them spots like I did. All you gotta do is take this back out and then um, 320 the whole thing. Make everything even over here with your touch. These spots. So, sand all that, prime it, paint it, paint it back black. Should be good to go. Or whatever color you want it, color match or whatever. Should be good to go. But yeah, it looks pretty good. This uh, grill definitely gonna need a polish. 
this is how I got it. But it's pretty clean for the most part. Came out pretty well. One thing I will say is this kit came with self-tapping screws. And I would change it to some bolts. That's just me though. It'd be a nightmare to uh going pretty fast and this thing pop out. It's um like a $350 insert. It's not mine, it's not my car, so but that's just my opinion. It's just it was me that I do.